Hi everyone. Right, I've got a really quick project here because I'm not just going to go on about what I sell. You know me, I'll, I love to craft. I've taken the images that uh, um, Trisha sent. I've taken this one. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. Um, I might just add something to that. Let me just see. Um, just a minute. I think and where's my open markers I might just want to add something to that um, I think what I'll do is I will colour in the flowers I've got everything that I need I've got my ink, my sanding paper I'm using one of these Marion, wherever you got those from I mean I don't have that but if you oh do I? no I have handmade, that's all I have but I love that so you can let me know where you got that from, that'd be fantastic. Got my flowers, my trim, my lace, got my heart. This paper, straight away, as soon as I saw it, I knew what to do. I'm going to take the Copic marker, the pink, and I'm just going to colour in. Because it's on like a gloss, this. And I'm going to pop dot it as well. I'm just colouring these little flowers pink. See, the girls have been at my markers. I <laughs> um, just think it needs a touch of colour. So just do that with it. And we'll do some colour on here as well. Like that. Just to give it a little bit of colour. And I'm going to go around the edge anyway. Like that. Yeah, I think that's just right. Yes, that really looks pretty. So I'm just going to see now about doing it this one as well. And brighten it up a little bit. Matches more in with the paper. Like that. You'll have to let me know, Trisha, where you got your images from. You know, they're gorgeous. Love them. That's fantastic. Now, look at that. What a difference. Just a little bit of colour. When that's dry, what I'm going to do then is do the edging. Now, I've taken the heart. Uh, let me just see where. Just on there will do. So, all I'm going to do is to draw around that. Like I say, I'm going to be doing these little kits. So they're only going to be cheap little kits uh, to give you a chance to uh, be able to create something. You can give it Mother's Day or something like that, save it. Um, <clears throat> take my scissors. Just cut the whole thing out for now. Remember, don't cut straight down because that will get you a flower. <laughs> I know I'm tight, I can't help it. I don't waste. I'm cutting on the outside because I'm going to be sanding it down once it's on. Okay. Hopefully I can get all this done very shortly, very quick, quickly should I say, and then um, in one video. It is a really quick project and anyone, beginner or not, can do this. And they look gorgeous. And if you've never done them before, and you are a newbie, and you're thinking, oh, no, I can't. Yes, you can. Anybody can make this. It's not hard, and I'm showing you step by step. So what you're going to need, chipboard shape, a piece of card, trim. Make sure you leave enough to gather, even though it's a gathered lace. Various flowers, like that. I'm putting a, maybe one, maybe two of these on. Um, a little bit of sandpaper and a picture. Now that should be dry. So first of all, let's distress the picture while the heat gun heats up. Beautiful, love it. Just making it like a very soft pink around the edges. OK. 
Okay, just like that. Gently do it. See, my board, although I've got my new board, I haven't got a level desk. <laughs> I've got a lot of rubbish underneath it. Come on, you know me. <laughs> so I'm going to put that onto a piece of chipboard shortly. So for now, I'm just going to get this prepared. Not bothered about that because we can always go back over that. What you need to do is to glue that. We've got a storm at the moment. It's thunder and lightning. It has been really warm today, though, I have to say. Very warm. In fact, I'm not going to do that this time. I did buy some of these and I do want one for myself. Let's just make sure we've got the cap off and it works. See, if I hadn't realised that, I'd have still been trying to put that on. <laughs> I'll be squeezing it going, yeah, come out, you will come out. <laughs> well, let's hope you will. I can't see now. Oh, blummy neck. There we go. Hopefully that's done the trick. Probably not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just to glue. You will come out. <laughs> you will. Oh God, you have to. This one. Can't do it with my hands. Right, and then we're just going to pop that on. Switch it around so it spreads the glue. Like that. Oops, a daisy. Make sure you line that up properly. And then what I do is I take my... Um, well, I did, if I knew where it was. Where's my roller? Girls, what have you done with my roller? Oh, that's charming. I have to use this old one, but let me put a piece of paper over it. Put it on there, like that. Because I do have a nice one. Only I don't know where it is. Oh, probably my fault. Be in here somewhere. It is. Somewhere. Oh, I've got a bit some stickles as well. So there you go. Like that. So you've got that. doesn't have to be perfect, because now what we're going to do is to sand that down. Okay? And to do that, take some sandpaper and you just sand it off to make it shabby. Which won't matter anyway because we're going to get rid of it. All that excess. Yeah, that's alright. So just sandpaper all of that off. Like that. Better to cut a little bit more than you need, than not enough. Well, I'm not fussed about the end there. See, yep. Yeah. A little bit more there. Now, although I'm going to be putting an edge on it, I do also... Um, want to colour it. So just take your distress ink. Not bothered about the edge completely because that's going to have some braiding on. But I did want the pink showing onto the paper. So just do that. Very, very quick project is this. You don't have to edge it, you can leave it like that. But I'm going to edge mine. Like that. Okay. So we've got that. And you can always put your hole back through because you've got it there. Okay. Um, then what I'm going to do is to put the lace on. And remember, gather your gathered lace. 
So let me make sure I've got this the right way. Here we go. Oops, a daisy. And I'm going to leave a little bit hanging off the end there. Okay. And what you do is just gather it. Pinch, as they say. Pinch, pinch. Just about an inch at a time, you know, you don't... That's all you need to do. If you do it too, um, too long, you won't get a chance before it starts to set, once it touches, the glue touches the material. So I don't do too much. Just enough before it starts to set. Okay. Like that. Nice gather around the top. Like that. <coughs> and just be a little bit tricky uh, not getting any glue onto your lace at the top there. That's fine. And just pull it in. I think the storm's moving on now. And then, like I say, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just chop that off because I don't need that much. Um, and then if you just lift these two up, that's why I left a little bit. Just lift them up like that. Right, and you can just pinch them together, pull them back. Oops, get off there. And then push them back, but mind your fingers. And that will join the laces together there. And chop that off. And there you go, you've got a, a nice lace heart. Isn't that gorgeous? But we're still going to carry on and decorate it a little bit more. What I'm going to do now, just move the trim and put this trim on around the edge. Okay, so just um, I think we'll start at the top. I hope you're seeing this. Like and we don't have to gather this so you can get it on pretty quick. Doesn't that look pretty? Like 
just swing that back round to there. We can start again. Hope you've seen all of this. It was a very, very quick project for you to do. And like I say, a nice gift for a Mother's Day or, you know, a birthday or something like that. Not sure what to do. Need something quick and your mother likes your work and your handmade things. Easy. I'm just going to cut that one off there. And glue that one down like that. Isn't that pretty? Now with this, so I sometimes do the same with these, like that. Pinch them together like that. And um, you can, actually, if you're careful, glue that back down there. Just glue it and fold it in like a pleat. Not quite stuck. Just glue it down like that. And that will help that look there. Okay? So you've got a nice pretty heart like that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now what I'm gonna do, just get a piece of chipboard to do that. one millimeter chipboard here um, and I'm just gonna whoops cut that oh my hands are bad I'd use my punch but I don't think I'd punch it out I don't think it will. If you're not confident of doing it this way, draw around it and then cut it out. Okay. Like that. Yeah, that'll do fine. And then what I'm going to do is just to glue that on. Doesn't take a lot of that glue, it's quite strong. Again, take my tissue and my roller just to make sure there's no air bubbles in it. I must remember to put that in my shoe box. Okay, like that. Take the sandpaper, do that again with the edge, and then I can darken that with the ink. Just gives it a nice finish. Oops, the computer went off then. Okay, take hold of your distress ink. See how it just gives that little edge. Like that. I'm hoping to get this finished. So what I'm going to do now is just get some uh, pop dots. Uh, do. Just put these on. Just need one at the top with it being chipboard and one at the bottom. I'm not sure where I want it. I might just want it there. I might just do that actually. Or do I want it there? Let me see. Yeah, I'm going to have it there. So, not messing about. I don't change my mind too often. When I've made it up, that's what I mean. Now, I like it there. 
So I'm going to put that there, take the largest flower, which is the main one, pop that there, take some smaller ones, wrong scissors lady, come on. that, pop them in there, like that, and then I'm going to take two of these, just for a bit of colour, a bit darker pink, two of those, I'll put these on first, like that, and then the little one goes there, swing that round. Like that. Isn't that pretty? I'm just filming. Ta. I'm going to take the stickles. This is the diamond one. And I'm just going to put little glue dots in the flower centers. Like that. A little bit more on that one. Okay. Take the butterfly. And what I'm going to do... Um, <laughs> take your lid off, woman. What I'm going to do with the butterfly is just to colour the edges a little bit. Colour the wings. Take the stickles and just stick them up. Hope you can see this. Just makes a difference if you have a little bit of glam. Uh, I'm going to take the pearl out of the middle. I don't want that. Oh, it's a bead, not a pearl. So I don't want that, pop that in there. Like that. And I'm just going to glue that. we we'll just see. Onto there, I think. Am I? Yeah, we're just going to glue it there. That's why I've chosen to do it, I'm not changing my mind. And, um... That can dry, but at the same time, um, now let me see what I've done with it. There we go. I just want to put one of the pink beads in for its body. Like that. Oops, get on there. I can get two of those on, that's fine. So I've got those two. When the stickles dry, it will stiffen up the material anyway. Um, and I can pop a little bit of wire on to enhance them if I want to. I choose not to at the moment. Uh, and then what we can do is just put a sentiment here. Which I'm not going to do because I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But there. Uh, what I can do, I think. One of these. Just a minute. And two of those. Just thought of something else. Just to help it along. Hope you can still see this on the picture. So I haven't edged it with anything. I'm just going to stick one there. 
like that. Tiny one. This side. Like that. And a tiny one there. Like that. Oops, just got a bit of glitter on there, doesn't matter. But yeah, love it. There you go. Very quick, very easy, and uh, quite shabby chic. So I hope that was all right. I hope you got to see it. Um, and oops, that's what I've done wrong. That's why it's gone like that. Put a bit more in there, woman. There you go. And then when that's dry, I'm just going to stick that on the back. Okay. So I hope you like that and uh, try it. Very quick, very easy. I will be selling these in a small kit, so you'll get something very similar. If you see it on my Etsy, um, and I say I've got five, six or whatever available, in a kit form, it'll be this size heart with flowers, with a butterfly of some sort, with some trimming and with the backing paper, all different. Uh, you'll get several sheets so that, uh, you know, a 6x6 so that you can choose what you want and you'll get two or three different laces as well uh, and that'll be a little kit going out okay thanks for watching speak to you soon bye bye for now